I'm going to be going into my account and showing you the difference between a 40 million view video and a video that only has 10,000 views. Now, 10,000 might sound like a lot to some of you, but when you have a bigger profile, that's not very good. So I'm going to show you my best performing content and my worst performing content, the back end, and show you what the difference is between those two on TikTok and how you can emulate those strategies that I used for your own content. So I'm over on my TikTok account here and I have it on the screen for you guys. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be jumping into some of the better videos. For example, I think our best video is 36.5 million views. And we have a video that was posted about a week ago that has 9.8 million. So I'm gonna jump into those. And then we're gonna look at some of the bad ones and look at the differences. So for the very first one, this was posted a little while ago. It was posted about two years ago. So the analytics in the back end are actually slightly different than they look now. We have a little less information, but you can see the views, the likes, uh, kind of the engagement rate overall. So we have about six times, seven times more views than we have likes. So that can be a ratio we look at, same with comments and shares uh, and saves. So on this, we have a lot of saves. We have 177,000, normally the saves. So on this one, we actually have a lot of shares. We have 70,000. The average watch time on this is extremely good. So this is a 51 second video. You can see that at the very top here. And the average watch time is 32.5 seconds. That is extremely high, especially for TikTok with people posting shorter videos. I found a lot of success with the longer videos. And we had 41.84% of people watch the entire video, which is also extremely high for a long video. So we have people spending a lot of time on this video. It also has 108,000 comments. So when people are commenting, they're also spending time on this and it might be playing in the background as well. So that is just one of them. Now, if we look at another one. Tired of feeling overwhelmed with marketing your small business? Let our experienced marketing team help your business grow. With personalized strategies tailored to meet your needs, we'll help you stand out in a crowded market. Contact us today for more information at foxsocialmedia.com. That recently did well. This was about a week ago. And it's at almost 10 million views. And you can see we have more data I can go into here. This one has 21,000 likes. You could see how many, or I'm sorry, 21,000 comments. You could see how many more comments that other video had. So what I would do is I'd go in and I'd look at those comments, what people are talking about and see why that one had so many comments and maybe look around content around what people are talking about. So one had 26,000 shares, 75,000 saves. So this actually looks like it has not that many comments and not that many shares, but it has a lot of saves. That face value engagement is not extremely, extremely important on TikTok, but it does obviously play a factor. On this, our average watch time is 29 seconds, which again is very good. It's a 65 second video. The, uh, the people who watch the full video, 24.53%. Again, it's decent rate. It's not 40%, but 40% is insane for a long video. And then they also now show you the new followers, your video views over time, so you can see how it does, how it spikes. And another thing that's very important here is the retention rate. So we have, how long do people stay? So 56% of the viewers stayed until six seconds and you can see how quickly it drops off. I lose 18% of those people who watched in the first second. Now, the first five seconds are the most important for TikTok and you normally wanna be above 50 or 60%. So this is actually not insanely great when it comes to the retention rate. All right, great. Now let's look at one that maybe didn't do as well. So this one only has 73,000 views, which is low for this account. So let's see why it's performing poorly compared to those. So we have 5,000 likes. So it's actually about the same like percentage as the other videos. Comments, it barely has any. It has an okay amount of shares and saves but you can see the average watch time here is 12 and a half seconds. It is a 25 second video, but that's something to keep into mind. Only 22% of people watch the full video and the full video is less than half as long as the other ones. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And one other factor on here is replays. If it's a shorter video and it can loop, replays also play into the algorithm and how it actually works. So we can see Less people watch the full video and the average watch time is absolutely terrible compared to the other videos. Now, when it comes to retention, again, this graph looks better for retention, but it's a shorter video. So at, let's find the six seconds again, or five seconds, we have 57%, which is about the same, but the video is a lot shorter. 
So it's great. Let's look at another video that might not have done as well. This one is, let's see, this has 68,000 views. The like ratio is about the same, a little bit lower for that. Again, not very many comments. Shares and saves look about the same. Our average watch time is 24 seconds. And this is a longer video. This is a 72 second video. So we would probably want that to be a little bit higher since it's a long video. You have 21% of people who watch the full video, which is okay. We want probably 25% higher. And our retention rate actually to the very end on this is pretty good. Believe it or not, 25% to the very end go back is not bad for this long of a video but you can see how big it drops off we're at 57 but then people who stayed this long this is more of a story type content watched all of it so this one did not do as well it might be because of the comments and the engagement it could be the full video but this one honestly a little bit of a mystery i think it's because of the big dip at the very start now let's look at another recent one that maybe didn't do so well see if we can figure out any more information so this one, 270,000 views, 27,000 likes. So that's a little bit, that's a decent percentage, about 10% normally. Comment shares, a lot of saves compared to the comments and shares, but watch full video, only 18%. So that is pretty low, even though our average watch time is high. Again, a longer video, 72 seconds about. Not a lot of people are watching the full video, but that watch time is very good. So I'm kind of surprised this one did not take off as much. And you can see, Barely anyone got to the very end and it starts to drop pretty hard. So I'm going to say this retention graph this is actually one of the, probably the most important tool on TikTok if you have this to use in your analytics. I'm going to say that is the reason this one did not take off. Now let's look at another video. So this one was posted three days ago. It's at 1.2 million views. So it's doing pretty well. That's better than my average content. Likes, 10% of the views about again. Comments, it has more comments than the other videos but it has a lot of shares and saves. That is something I've seen with a lot of content that does well is it has a lot of shares and saves compared to the views. Now, the average watch time is 26 seconds. This is a 61 second video. Only 20% of people watch the full video. So those are not great stats. The retention looks decent from five seconds to 10 to 15. So that looks like one of the important ranges that they really look at. But I'm going to say the shares and the likes, I'm sorry, the shares and the saves are one of the reasons this one's doing well. And let's look at one more that might not be doing too great. Maybe more middle of the road. Look at this one. So this one has 120,000 views, 12K likes, about 10% again. This one's 93 seconds long. Almost no comments on this video for how many views it has. But we have a lot of saves. A little bit of shares, not that great. Average watch time, 36.7 seconds. Watch full video though, because it's longer 17%. If we look at the retention graph, it looks the same as most of our other ones, about 57, 58% is usually where we sit. So those are some longer videos. Let's look for some shorter videos and I'll show you what that looks like. So here's an example of a shorter video. This one is 30 seconds long, has about a million views, but only 42,000 likes. So pretty low when it comes to the likes. Um, not a lot of comments either, shares, Eh, they're all right. Saves are pretty good, but our average watch time is 11 seconds. Again, it's going to be lower on shorter videos, but if you're making seven, 10 second videos, you can see that up higher because of people replaying the video. So it is possible to have that above whatever the length of the video is. And we have 8% of people who watch the full video. So that's kind of what it looks like on a video that isn't really long. Now let me find one that is really short for you guys. So this video right here is 25 seconds. This one only has 73,000 views. Again, my shorter videos tend to do worse. Has 5,000 likes, 86 comments, and you can see the rest of the data. It's not amazing. 12 and a half second watch time, so about 50% of the video length, and 22% watch the full video. So the average watch time, obviously low compared to the other ones, but compared to the actual length of the video, it's a higher percentage, but the longer video, you got to think TikTok wants you on their platform longer so they can show you more ads. So that's important when it comes to TikTok's algorithm. And if we look at the retention rate, you can see it looks almost the same on all of our videos, about 57%, and then it slowly dips off. So this one, I'm going to put it to, it wasn't very engaging. There's almost no comments and the average watch time isn't amazing on these shorter ones. You still want to have a longer average watch time. I would want probably 18, 16 seconds on this at least and a higher rate for the watchful video on shorter as well. But when it comes to breaking down all these different videos and the ones that have, 
Let's look at the 24 million one for fun and see. You can see the average watch time, 30 seconds. Watch full video, 44. And then we can see the comments and the likes and the shares and the saves. Those look like very important things for initially taking a video off the ground. I think you have to have a good average watch time and watch full video. And then the shares and the saves are kind of what push it over the edge, it almost feels like. So that's the difference between videos that have 38 million views and videos that have 10,000 views. So you can see all the analytics in here, what really affects it the most. And you can test and look at your own content and see, okay, it looks like this one has a lot of comments and it's getting pushed, or this one has a really long watch time, this longer video gets pushed more. I found videos from 40 seconds up tend to do better for me personally in my niche. It's a more educational type content, but it will be different in yours as well. If you can't make super long content, then make something that is replayable. You just want people on that video as long as possible. When people are commenting or sharing or saving it and watching it again later, that helps build that average watch time. So I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.